Um, yo. 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 Nicholas Adam, right? It's weird for us because this is the second video of the day, so it is. I'm not gonna watch what three, half two, three ish. No, that really matters. Three. Uh, three o'clock. But as you can see above me, we're in Adam's bedroom. We're not really. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so uh, we are doing a first fix on a kitchen. So this is the garage. The floor's been raised up. Um, that is the kitchen, but we're moving the cooker and everything in here. So. It's a bit of a strangish one for us because it's, well, not a lot needs doing, it's just running cables. Fuse board's here, we're running a radial circuit out across because there's not that much stuff in here. A socket here, coming across, up through the rafters, socket, ignore all this, socket here for the microwave, there's a worktop going here, and then we're doing a double socket here, all this is going, that's here at the moment. <clears throat> Stuck it there, and then we'll come across with a few spare for the boiler. There we go. I've just sparked out 600s, yeah. Yeah, I've just had a lovely gentleman, uh, old man, ring me up and say that it's he doesn't need a lift to hospital on Wednesday now, does he, Adam? Yeah. And that he's got his own lift. I was like, who do you think you're speaking to? He said, oh, Nick. I won't say his full name. So beans with B, but it's not Bundy. I was like, no, this isn't the electrician. Oh, no, I don't want to lift off you and then put the phone down. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, uh, we're going to keep this fuse spur here for the time being off the boiler because the boiler circuit, there's no spare ways at all on the board that's in the cub outside. Cub? Cupboard outside. So we're going to be getting rid of the boiler circuit. It's only running 1.5, so we can't use it. We're going to have to run a new feed in because 1.5 is not rated high enough, in case some of you guys don't know. We're putting a 2.5 in, put a new spur in. And the day we do the exchange, as in for second fix, we will cut the original boiler circuit off, upgrade it to a 2.5, a 20 amp breaker, disconnect this old one and put it on a new fuse spur for the circuit. Uh, outside light, which is already here, is coming up and across to in the cupboard. Outside socket going there. And we've got three appliances. We've got a fridge, freezer, and dishwasher but they're all going low level. So we do single socket outlets and then we're gonna do a grid isolation switch on top, which I don't really do to be honest, but it's the best option instead of having three individual few spurs. There's a new six more cooker circuit going in. So I'm disconnecting it from the old kitchen in here, disconnecting from the board and then we'll run a new one in and across and down. With our cooker circuits, with the cookers that are like this, we always put the isolation switch in the top cupboard, fling it back down. And uh, as to be fair, we'll put it in the bottom Put it in the bottom and then so the fridge got, can plug straight into it. Yeah, as we've well. got a double socket and. Are you putting the cooker ice here above? Or? No, we put it below with yeah. the single socket and then the fridge can plug into that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, don't do that with your fingers. And we never asked about lighting. Down lights. Lights. Is it down lights? Down lights right here, look. Yeah, but they just do that in the kitchen showrooms anyway. I think it's going to be down lights, but we've got a good span here. We we'll use the JCC shallow, we'll use the shallow ones with the V50s on here. Yeah. And the fire, the fire guard, guards. depending on ask us for what he wants. Yeah. And then which is a two-way switch from here to here, and then a light and a switch, because there's gonna be a door in there eventually once this garage door gets blocked up. Anyway, so we now all know what's going on. I know I waffle too much, people moan at me I waffle too much, but unless I explain the whole job, people then decide to jump down our throats and go, Oh, why don't you do that? Well, you don't know the whole story, but now you do, so it's fine. Adam, do you agree with me? No. Absolutely right, you're fired. Goodbye. So what we're doing, we're just Adam's marking out cable runs where we can bring the two fives across and then the light in and we're gonna do five spotlights and try and angle this back a bit so there's gonna be three in a row behind me and there's gonna be two over here because of this boxing if we were to bring another light it would intrude too much it would cast a big light across the front of the, the box in or kitchen cupboard whatever's going there so we do five maybe two spots in the far bit I'll be ripping out the cables here and then we, so we're stripping that out, cut them off. That's all ripped off here. So we take that patches off. And uh, I've heard on the street that this is called the Dave Savory Twin and Earth. You heard that, Adam? Sorry. Yeah. Old Dave O'Savory's twin. So I'll make sure I package that back up and send it to him because uh, you'll miss that. Definitely go to one of his videos. I showed you the video that Dave did with mentioning you, me, and Jordan in the other day. If you haven't seen it, when that thing, yeah, that oh, thing yeah, grew, yeah. yeah. So if you haven't seen it, go over today's video. I'll link it below, if I remember. Uh, if not, shout with me and tell me to get send you the link to Dave's video on the Klein 
tester, wasn't it? The multifunctional test. No, it wasn't. It was, it was a client pen, the same, well, the voltage pen with the laser one. Um, and it, yeah, it's well worth a watch. Just watch it to the end. It's just next level, just nonsense, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to set this up now and actually try and show you guys some work instead of just waffling all the time. <sighs> I tried to film that, but every time I try and do something, this one makes a noise. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he does. What? Oh, there we go. Uh, we had one 25 mil that didn't have holes in it, and a 25 mil, but I only have 35 mil patrices, so this is only being dabbed off 25 mil. So Adam's gonna have to sink in the wall a bit. But like the last kitchen we did, the big one, we asked the plasterer and said, "Can we stick 35 mil boxes on the wall?" But they were using, they were dabbing it on, but they were using the polystyrene backed plasterboard so it was coming out 35 mil hence why we did it otherwise we would have sank them in for anyone that was asking or moaning anyway i'm gonna start pulling some cables through that's coming off of that one first drop there and then across to here back up down to here the boiler is now not going to go off here there is another boiler feed up there which is a spur of the kitchen which we found this is the lighting feed from the kitchen so uh, it's all dead by the way we just need to speak to the builder whoever did this because he didn't pull the 10 mil earth through he decided to pull it off and poke it through so i'm going to make a notch now and slide my cables up and then he can fix that afterwards uh yeah pull some cables through Yeah, so everyone, Adam's concerned after one, it was only one job that happened, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was single skin wall where he took it out too much and he ended up going through to next door. And we said, hello, and then fixed it. No, it was straw walls. Mm. Yeah. No, that was true. I have done it before when I'm actually in a terrace house. It's only single brick and I have channeled a, a whole socket through to someone else's house. That's a story for another day. Sorry, I've got loads of pillows in my mouth. Um, Same. Adam's sunk that in, I'm going to chisel the top out, which is marked there, just for cable entry. Marked there. I'm in a bit of a predicament because... Ow! Um, <laughs> well, that hurt, I'm going to put the outside socket in, so I'm going to do a few spear on here. With the rolls out to drill bit, anyway. But, <clears throat> if the build would put the noggins all level, I don't know what's going on here. Why? They're like that. If any of the other guys, builders are watching, what's, I don't understand why he's done that. Anyway, what? I really sunk them in. Oh, he's put them like that for the sockets to go on. Is that, that's not 25 mil. Has he tried to help us out? Whoa, there's me slagging him off. No, it's too hard. Oh, he has! No, surely they're too hard. Yeah, they're in the, they're, no, they're completely in the wrong spot, but he's put them in there for us. Wow, look at that guys, but we've, I wish he'd screwed him in, because I was going to, if I had my chop saw or my circuit saw, I'd just cut some new ones up, because we're going 110 to the top, which is there, if I want to put my grid switch or a few spur in, I can't put it there, <laughs> no it's not a level, I can't put it there, I can't put it here, but he's put them in there and drawn the sockets on, but Yes, the fridge can be plugged in there, but my knowledge now is you need to put these as low as possible for any... They're not built-in appliances, they're just pushing ones, but they always have a good gap at the bottom, especially when you put a plug, plug on it, to push it back, it lets it go in a bit further and flush with the worktop, or with the front of the worktop. 890 they are. What are 890? To the top. To the top of the appliances. Yeah. Yeah, it's 210. Uh, 920 with the worktop normally. Uh, so as much as that's trying to help us, I'd love to rip them out. Can we get the multi-till down the side? Cut them out. But the problem is I want... Can you not just put fast fix boxes? I can, but I can't put one here, and I can't put one here. 
So we're gonna have to put one there. I'll put the fuse spur for the outside socket here within the zone, and even though the depth is way more than 50 mil anyway. Uh, yeah, bear with us and we'll, we'll figure this out. But I can see what he's done there. We actually have to put it to the depth. So thank you, Mr. Builder, but they're in the wrong place. Never mind. Right, so I have had a plan. I felt like W2S then, yeah. and I did, you know, Harry wishes this. No. W2S? Remote to shoot off? Yeah, no, I just never noticed him do that. Yeah, he like throws his hand. Anyway, if you don't watch Sidemen or M1, you will never know. I've had a plan. Adam's going to get his pole out. Does that always spin? Yes, mate. And so I've just pinched some of the guys' wood, got the jigsaw out, and I made my own ones. The 35mm boxes is going to be a grid switch. <laughs> Measured it out. And I'm going to sit the laser at 110 to the top. And I've got the laser out. You can see how I'm, these are marked off the floor. Just keep going up and up to here. 110 to the top. The 35mm box, it protrudes enough that we can put a piece of plasterboard on. So this then allows me, because normally we would bring them down the wall, either clip it, sink some conduit or something, and then we'll use fast fix boxes, we'll take measurements, but I've worked for that many people and that many builders and all that sort of stuff. They all work differently, they work their own way. They all work messy. <laughs> they all work messy, Adam says. But if I do this, I know full well that my box is gonna protrude through the plasterboard enough for me to find the cables afterwards. It, yes, it's more effort now. And I have seen them brackets, the metal extendable brackets that you can clip on screw boxes to, which is a good idea. But it's very rare that I'd use them to be honest, but maybe one day. So I'm gonna do this for all of them. Uh, the only one I can't really do is that one because this does not be made up, but we can figure this out. There's only one going on here and then I think it's just a double socket here. And then I'm going to do the same things for these three single sockets down here. The cooker socket, we can screw it to the back of the pillar because it's physically going in the bottom of the cupboard. And then there's just a down, uh, an undercovered light, oh dear me, I'm sorry, an undercovered light coming down on top of a flyover. So there's not a massive amount to go in, but in the future, guys, if you don't know the builder or don't work for the builder regularly, cover yourself, do something like this, and then you've always gonna be able to find your stuff. Right, so we've got our main box in there for the grid switch. Drill that out. And the same thing with these three for our individual appliances. So the grid switch will have three ISOs in it. It'll have the, uh, the, the feed in and then feed out and then the loads off that. We're gonna bring them around, clip them to the back side of the wood. Well, this one will be down here through there so they're not going to get lost i'm going to start with this one now and then move across um to be fair we don't need to do one for the cooker because it's being fed through into the cupboard and then that's the sockets done really i can get that fed around um i can clip it to the wall if the sellotex going in they're going to be well enough away from that but these bricks are solid aren't they mm -hmm. so i don't know how they've anyone got nails in it before to be honest Thor put them in, that's who. Uh, if not, we'll just do a bit of all-round band. Um, but I actually have got some spare black conduit, so we might just put some all-round band and just slide them down the conduit just so they're safe and secure out of the way. Adam's just getting on with the down lights. He's marked out the five. That's all right, it's just like that. Just put a clip and that's hold it. That's it, mate, yeah. So what we're doing, because this is the lighting feed here from the kitchen, and this is still gonna be an accessible cupboard. We're gonna re, what we've done, it's gonna take, this one here is the feed that's gonna be tied on. We'll have a permanent feed going here to the first down light. Then Adam's gonna do the loop around for all the lights. And then from there as well, we're gonna take a cable from here. So that'll be our two core and earth down to our switch. And then we'll take a three core and earth over to the stud work over there for our two way. And from here, we'll take another feed to our switch, which will be dropped down when the garage door goes. And then we'll do the two spotlights the far side. So it should make life just a bit easier. Uh, he's labelling it all up the way, should do. <laughs> I've missed a joist there. Oh, I can cut it though, I don't need to. Yeah. Here, I've not fed it through that one, do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, no I know. Well, I just, it doesn't need to be a continuous yeah. loop for this, it's fine. Sound, yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's nice mate. If anyone, go on. If anyone doesn't use all round band, get yourself a drum of it. Because it just saves wonders, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, suck it on. So what I've done here, I've run through. I'm just gonna take some eye out. Few switch spur, in and out, load, going down. Bit of black conduit on there. Just because I had it in the van, 
It's a bit easier then to do that. I say I would have used the oval, but that's all that's left, so Adam is using it. Oh, I want to use it for that. You need to throw over there. Um, here, so in, out, and don't say shake it all about Adam. I was about to. And then in, out, that's just then looped to here, socket, and then we've got our left, number one, our middle, number two, and then our right, which is three. So they're all in now, and I know we're not going to lose them. We will curl them up. Adam said, remember to come round, we'll bend off the bottom and top logs on all of these. Obviously not on the doubles, because there isn't any. Adam's getting on with the, the lights. What he's done is a light tack upwards to hold them in place. But we will do a diagram, a measurement of where they are. You're running that down. Yeah, we've seen already. That's your socket, that and then that's gonna go up and back and out as the new feed, like we said at the beginning. Then your, I need to rejig this to make this the same as what we've got here. Oh yeah, you can cut that down. Sound, and uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna shut the garage door. You're gonna do the two lights here. I don't even have a floating one. Floating cable, because obviously once this gets bricked up the front, then we're gonna have a light switch there. So just and then, yeah. Yeah, that should be sound, mate, thank you. And uh, last but not least will be the cooker socket. Cook a switch, cook a switch, cook a, cook a feed, cook a feed down there. So we can just leave that poking out as long as we get the measurements right. That's going to end up in this one here. We should be sound. Eight. I've just done this, and what we're doing because these are flailing around, and I don't know if he's going to try and board them and hide them in there. We just disconnect it all from the board. Going to clip it, unclip it, and feed it through our holes. Excuse me. I'm going to feed it through his holes, um, through the joist, and then drop down, and we'll just reattach that. But it's just, it's, I don't want to do this, but it's the best thing to do. To be fair, I wasn't really thinking about it. Adam's decided it's his executive decision that he's going to do it with his Rhino Trade Insurance Bundy 10 t shirt. Nice one, Adam. Get amongst it. Get amongst it. Well. So that a bit too much slack. Yeah. Just a bit. Adam's finishing off on the two lights over here. We're doing exactly the same measurements, but we are leaving quite a lot of slack in the ceiling just in case stuff wants to be shifted. I've run the six mil in, across, across, and down. This is then going to be pulled through into the bottom of the cupboard, but I'd rather leave loads on it. Could have been some conduit again. We were taking pictures and measurements and everything, but let's go. Down here, yeah. Yes, please, mate. Uh, we're doing the light box in there, like I said, the light feeds in there. We're going to do that on second fix afterwards. Um, we can put a nice, we'll put one of the, um, I don't know, just an adaptable box, really, because there's quite a few cables going into it. And we'll label it up. It no, as long as you've written on the end, because that's not being, that's just being boarded in. There's, the wall's not being skimmed, there's not being boarded inside this framework. So we can get all that afterwards. Uh, We've run, Adam, well, we, Adam's run that water 10 mil and the boiler uh, feed up through the ceiling now. We've done it out. We've done it like this to start with, but the front end of this garage is all being knocked out and bricked up. So we're gonna leave loads of slack on this for it to be pulled through as and when. But there's gas pipe next to it, so it's, I think it's all gonna be boxed in anyway, which should help us out big time. That cable's in now. There's not a lot left to do, you're doing that. I'm gonna yeah. show you what you've got, one. That well, link one here, and then a link to that one, and then tidy up and just repower the boiler back up, and put the yeah. water back in, and repower the boiler, and that's it. So we'll catch back in a minute once we've had a bit of a sweep up, yeah. Yeah. That's it. We're done. Got a I need to shave. Oh god. Uh, there, up measurements done for the wiring diagram. Everything's curled up into the boxes, all nice and neat. We've got pictures. Obviously, we have a video of this all. That's all set up for what we want a second fix. And the cables are looped up outside for the sockets when it goes in. So yeah, it's been a nice little uh, little job. What time is it? Ready for this? 10 to seven. So that sucks, but hey ho. Uh, go back, have some tea. And then to be fair, once my kids are in bed, we have another fuse board to do tomorrow. So we are gonna, well, we are just gonna go home. And uh, I'm gonna, once the kids are in bed, nip to the unit empty all this stuff out that we've been collecting. <sighs> Dump all this out, retidy everything, post David's uh, cable, and 
be able to stuff organized for tomorrow. I've got board change tomorrow. Then I've got an EICR. And then we've got to do a call out. Yeah. It's a shower or something? Yeah. Great fun. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Take care now. Bye bye then. <laughs>